are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of December. I'm James Spann. Light rain will be exiting the state this morning. Maybe a little light rain for the weekend and maybe very cold at Christmas time toward the end of next week. A lot of things to talk about, so here we go. Let's dive in. Pretty sharp trough coming in here from the west, and that has been producing light rain across the state overnight. It was a radar this morning a little before 5 o'clock, and the rain is pretty much over in Mississippi, and that rain will be exiting Alabama later this morning. Temperatures are in the 40s. We've been there all night long, and we'll probably stay in the 40s throughout the day today. Winter storm warnings in effect for the northeast United States. Big old nasty winter storm will be affecting our friends there. This will be a high impact disruptive storm. This is the winter storm severity index and you can see some spots in that level five out of five extreme category through parts of Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey. And this is tomorrow. The snow continues up into New England. And this is the expected snow amounts coming from the weather service forecast offices and Again, one to two feet of snow for a lot of places up in there, including New York City and Boston. There'll be a huge disruptive winter storm. So if you're traveling up that way, just uh, be aware you might not make it. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. Got a standard slight risk for the Outer Banks of North Carolina and a marginal risk on the Gulf Coast of Florida from near Panama City down to about Sarasota. Tomorrow, pretty quiet across the country. And day three, Friday, maybe some thunder west of the state with the next impulse coming in that will affect Alabama this weekend, but probably not bring much rain. In fact, this is the rain for the next seven days. And again, uh, very wet for Portland and Seattle down here. Not much. Uh, the amounts over the weekend, probably a quarter inch or less. So let's dive into modeling here. The GFS, this is the 06C run at, uh, let's see, this is valid at 6 o'clock this evening. You can see the trough going negative tilt over the east and a surface low is developing around Virginia Beach. And that's going to start that big winter storm. Here's the progression. You can see it just rolling northeast with uh, tremendous snow rates for the big cities, uh, New York City and Boston. Wow. But down here, uh, the rain will be moving out this morning and uh, will clear tonight. Temperatures holding in the 40s today for most of the northern half of the state. Tomorrow, we'll start the day, I'd say, in the upper 20s. The high will be in the Upper 40s, the sky will be sunny. This is Friday, a sunny day. Pretty cold again, well down in the 20s early in the morning. The high Friday back in the 50s with a good deal of sunshine. And then Saturday, the next little feature comes in here. This will probably bring some light rain Saturday afternoon or Saturday night. This is a Saturday night at midnight. But the moisture very limited, so just not much. And then Sunday at this point uh, looks pretty dry. Uh, the sky... Becoming partially sunny. Highs for the weekend should be in the 50s. Monday, we're dry. Highs upper 50s. And this is Tuesday. Now, the GFS is showing little impulse coming in with a chance of light rain. But the European says, no way that's going to happen. It's got us dry. Uh, highs will be close to 60. And this is a week from today. New trough in the western states. And again, the GFS is suggesting some light rain. We're going to discount that solution at this point. Uh, we are expecting a cold front in here at some point Wednesday night or Thursday. In fact, let's go to Thursday of next week. This is the GFS, and uh, that's a very cold high uh, over the Dakotas, 1,031 millibars. Other runs have shown a stronger high, but that would suggest we'll have a chance of uh, showers with the front Thursday, Christmas Eve. And then Friday of next week, Christmas Day, a long wave trough setting up over the eastern states and a pretty cold air mass coming in here. And of course, this is, you know, nine days out. We've seen a lot of variations in how cold. We just don't know that yet, but the pattern sure favors it. This is the uh, mean of the European ensemble showing a deep trough over the eastern states at the end of next week. And we'll have a much better handle on this, obviously, uh, you know, as, as we get closer. All right, snow fans, this is the snow output from the European Ensemble. Could there be any snow flurries or snowflakes with the uh, backside of that front Christmas Eve? Uh, you got a few members that hint that, but not many. I wouldn't get too excited at this point. And we'll just watch for trends. 
Rain for Birmingham off that same model. The mean, about uh, one and a half to two inches. Some of the members exceeding four inches. Temperatures off the national blend of models. We could touch 60 early next week before that Christmas cold air shot arrives. And for now, the uh, NBM has a high of 47 for Birmingham on Christmas Day. And that could come down. And the CPC outlook, this is for December 23rd through the 29th, showing temperatures here a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.